Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today we have this problem here where we are supposed to find the area of this given rectangle here. Okay, so in this rectangle there are three circles with each circle having a radius of one. So let's go ahead and find the area of the rectangle. So first things remember is that the area is equal to x times y. Area of a rectangle that is, okay? with x and y each being one side length of the rectangle. So we can call this side length x and this side length y. So what we need to do is then find x and y so we can multiply them together. So let's start with this x side length here. Side length goes from here to here, okay? So we can see that if it goes across like this, it will be included in this, this radius here will be included and this radius here will be included. And remember, radius is the distance from the middle point to any outer point of the circle. So if the radius is 1 here, that means that the distance from this middle point here to this outer point is also 1. And same thing goes for here. This length is also 1 because it's the middle point to the side point. So as we can see, all these radii together make up our x value. So Let's just add the radii together, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, and we get that our x is equal to 4, okay? So, we have our x value, and now what we need to find is our y value. So, our y value is this side length here, and it includes this radius here, with the value of 1, and this radius part here is also equal to 1 and then we can see here this point here is at the middle of the circle and if we go to the top this would be parallel with the edge of the circle so this is also equal to the radius this is 1 however we are missing this part here and that is not equal to the radius so we need to come up with something else that we can solve this one thing we can do is we can connect the middles points of the circles together like this and now we have a triangle and if we cut that triangle in half we can have two right triangles here okay so I was colored in red to make you guys see better so now we have this right triangle and what we can do is we see that this height of the right triangle here goes along our y value. So if we find this y height here, we can add it to this known value of 1 and this known value of 1 to get our y value, okay? So we, how do we find this value? So remember, equation for a right triangle is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So a squared is 1. So we our a is 1, so 1 squared, plus b squared, b squared, our height here is what we're trying to find, and that's our b value, is equal to c squared. So our c is our hypotenuse, remember? So our hypotenuse is here, but what is this value? Well, we can see that it goes from the middle point to the edge of the circle, so that's the radius, and it does that twice. So that means that it's 2 times the radius, so our c value is equal to 2. Okay? So with our c value equal to 2, we can go ahead and solve for b to find the height of this right triangle here. So 1 squared is obviously equal to 1, plus b squared is equal to 2 squared. 2 squared obviously is 4. Subtract 1 to get b by itself. b squared is equal to 3, and then we just square root. Solve for b, and our b is equal to... Remember, always positive or negative, but since we're working with geometry, we can only have a positive value, so it'll be square root of 3. Okay? So we got that our b is square root of 3. However, we must remember that this b value is not the whole y side that we want. So the, the y side is this b value, which is square root of 3, plus the radius here, 1. And 1 here, so that is just plus 2, okay? So our y value is equal to square root of 3 plus 2. So let's just multiply that with our x to find our area. So here we have our area is equal to 4 times square root of two, 3 plus 2. 
And now let's just go ahead and multiply that to get our final area value. So it's 4 times square root of 3 plus 4 times 2. You distribute to both of these. And 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Okay? So this is our unit squared, but we are not giving units, so I'll just keep it as that. Remember, but when you have area, it's always squared. But yes, this is it. It is our final answer. If you want to use a calculator to find the exact answer, you can do that. Or find, yeah. And with that being said, this is it for today. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.